women, women are like black women and women of color, brown women as well. Like, like we're at the front lines, not getting the credit. Um, and also being burnt out the quickest, like every movement I have seen has been led and organized and all the nitty gritty, dirty work has been done by women of color. Um, and, and yet like the, the voices getting heard are those of men, sometimes black men or or men of color and sometimes um, white women and white men, and that and that's crazy to me. That 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 like all the work that we do is oftentimes like commodified into a more acceptable package that that can be sold to to liberalism, you know. And you do the work not because you want to become famous, but because you want to impact a change. That being said, though, not getting the credit for a lot of the things that that we do that these women do must it becomes exhausting you become you know a part of the wallpaper um and you find yourself just completely drained and so um creating a support system and and hopefully finding a way to avoid that kind of um of exploitation is is also really important Man, keep your moment of silence. We need a cure for the violence. The shade will follow behind. Shadows who watch aid the crime. This country seems like a show. Tell me how far will you go? To be a Negro on this campus and relatively conscious was like learning to take my first steps. Like the first time I learned to plie. Except this time, my joints felt stiff. Machine Gun by Hendrix was playing in my head, and I didn't want to do the master's dance anymore. I wanted my body to pop delicately. I wanted to move to new rhythms, our rhythms, my way. So I had to free myself from the corrosion, from a fierce grief that I've never known before, fierceness that ate away at my insides, I never had rage to control before. So, I had to learn how to release it. So the silence wouldn't destroy me. This isn't just something for y'all to put on black and come out here on a Tuesday night for something to do. This is literally the fight of our lives. Make it count. Mm. We want freedom. By any means necessary. We want equality. By any means necessary. Philando Castile, Tamir Rice, Sandra Bland, Mm. and now Tyreek Perez. Another black body. What? This is all the black I could find. Yeah. Your twists are getting better. The top is so dense and the ends are like floppy still. Yeah, good. Is this? I don't know about See? you. What? But I'm sick. Too many Negroes in one place? Boy, I swear. Mm-hmm. It's never safe. But it'll be okay. Live. How many more innocent black bodies have to line our streets before we say enough is enough? Huh. You good? We want Girl, justice. What was that? 
What do you mean? We uh, want no. freedom. <laughs> we want equality. I don't know about y'all, but I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. The BSU seeks to secure the freedom, safety, and success of black students at Weston. We stand in solidarity in mourning the loss of 18-year-old Tyweek Perez of Kansas City. He was shot by police. Though he is geographically distant, the pain is real and it is close. We stand in vigil to show the world that Weston mourns Tyreek and that we do not stand for injustice. We would like to thank the administration and our allies for their continued support for this cause and for finally giving us what we want a space and time to gather. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Excuse That's me. all you want. A space to gather, that's a basic human right. This is politics, we have to play the game. You get in front of administration and you start cooning. What are you doing? I don't know what more than BSU's been doing. I'm tired of just standing around. Mm -hmm. We are too beautiful, too powerful to continue to let our voices be filtered through the gaze of the oppressor. We want the indictment and prosecution of Tyreek's murderer, a white woman with a little too much power for comfort. Hmm. Yeah, we want the freedom to gather, but also to fight to laugh, to study toward our own liberation without sacrificing our degrees, to exist as something more than a threat to the safety of the whites. And if we must be a threat, let it be a threat to the status quo of these fucking hollowed halls. Mm -hmm. Tyreek Perez died for dancing in the street, for having the audacity to put his body in motion, for moving in a way that made Officer Renee Leslie feel unsafe. Hmm. Our minds, the movement of our bodies, our forward progression poses a threat to white supremacy, especially here at Weston. See, even look around you. Why are there more police officers present than deans and professors? Hmm. It's because they're not about us. They fear who we can be. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of pretending to be revolutionary. The revolution, it was never a t-shirt, it was never a Tumblr post, it was never paying dues to a club. The revolution, that's us. We affirm that our Black Lives Matter, not just by saying it, but by proclaiming and demanding the respect and honor that our Black lives deserve, even here at Weston. What happens when we demand more than 5% Black students, a higher budget for African American studies, the termination of campus police officers who continuously profile our brothers, mm. equal protection for sexually assaulted Black women, the renaming of, of, of Hoover Hall, for goodness sakes, what happens when we demand what our black lives deserve? We get the freedom to dance like Tyreek Perez did, and they can't have it. So, are you going to continue to look the part of a fed up black student? Or are you going to march towards change and do something about it?
I'm not surprised how many freaks we get hiding in the sheets. Little black boy still hiding these beats. Same black boy gets popped two times, and I'm not surprised the pigs reside in the streets. So, damn man, it's a cold world. Would it done better if I listened to my old girl? She was telling me, pay no mind to the old girls. They were sent from Satan just to check on your soul, girl. Now it's on my mind, and I walk around pacing. Wishing I were lucky like the charms on her bracelet. Feels like a blood one then you gon' face it. I can understand why you truly want to face it. Cause niggas talk you down, talking about you too basic. You tend to talk a lot. You want the fake lips, need the extra cash. So you thought about the fake tits. Some have to be real. Please don't fake this, cause I need more love, less hate, more food to provide on my guest plate. They used to say revenge is the best way to win. I thought God would be considered the best way, but who knows? Used to walk on two feet, now it's two toes. Me and used to be the man, now we pulled those. But here we go with the blame game. To be honest, I'm tired of playing the same game. Women see a nigga that thinking we all the same, man. And we call a bitch thinking we ain't wanna blame, man. Aw, oh, damn. If that's saying to you, then you crazy. Look at our generation raising our babies, dog. And you okay, Stokely. Athlete. Touche, Cleaver. I thought you wasn't paying attention in class. I read all the books, I swear. I can see that. But my head sure as hell wasn't from my luck. It's two steps ahead. I think you got it. That real shit. What can shake up this campus? Come by my office sometime. Yeah? Yeah. I will. If black girl magic was a recipe, what would be the ingredients of the recipe? I would say cinnamon, honey, brown sugar, boldness, courage, love, uh, fearlessness, selflessness, shea butter, coconut. 